Now, I know the saying is any given Sunday, but I feel like Patriots, they came into this game and they were like, yeah, any given Sunday except for this one. We ain't letting it slide. First drive of the game. Browns get the ball. They drive downfield. They're converting and they moving the ball, moving them chains, getting first downs. Dearness Johnson looking like the monster that he's been every time he gets his opportunity. And I even tweeted it out. I said that Dearness Johnson is the perfect perfect example of making the most of every single opportunity of course Nick Chubb he's out with COVID Kareem Hunt was out so everything was on his shoulders but they they drove down the field and then they were having a little bit of trouble getting into the end zone a little bit of trouble even though Baker Mayfield he did some scrambling around he's like oh David Njoku okay <laughs> I wide open all right let, let me throw it to him throw it to him perfect pass and David Njoku uh, and then he, he caught it, but then he didn't keep it. Because the Patriots defended, my apologies, I forgot who it was, knocked it out. And me being a Ravens fan, that just brought back these memories of an AFC championship game that happened in 2011 uh, at Gillette Stadium. When Joe Flacco threw it to Lee Evans, perfect pass, looked like a perfect catch. Then Sterling Moore ripped it out. Anyway, just painful memories for me. But this game was a painful memory for the Browns uh, because after David Njoku dropped that, got it knocked out, whatever, the Browns were like, hold up. We, we didn't come all this way for nothing. We, we didn't drive down this whole field for no reason. Like, no, nah, let's go. We going for it. And I love the call. I, I love that call because you, you never want to be making all these conversions or whatnot. You never want to get that, get that close. And then come away with three points. Like, man, that's whack. No, we don't want to come away with no three points. So they went for it. And the level of difficulty on the catch that Baker Mayfield threw to Austin Hooper, it was ten times harder than the David Njoku catch. But what happened? Austin Hooper caught it. And it was a touchdown. And I was like, okay. All right, well, all right now. These, uh, these Browns, they started off strong. All right, okay. Let's see how this thing goes. And then the Patriots, they moved the ball downfield. And early on, I was a little concerned because with Mac Jones, this was, I haven't really gotten to watch him much this season. But one thing that I was seeing, I was like, man, with Mac Jones, he's putting the ball where the receiver can make the play on it, but he wasn't really leading them. And this was early, early, early on. Um, but I was like, he... He wasn't, he wasn't throwing bad passes. but And then I was thinking, okay, but this is also a rookie too, so it's not a big deal. And I had heard about people ranting and raving about his accuracy and whatnot. I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So he was making accurate passes, but he just wasn't leading his receivers to where they could get a bunch of yak after the catches. But that shortly changed after that. Um, but after the, the Browns scored that touchdown, <laughs> Patriots was like, hold up adjustments yeah we know not a lot of teams around the league they struggle with adjustments but us yeah we got it today we got it and they never look back never look back me being a ravens fan with the uh the browns being in our same division the afc north uh, i was rooting for the patriots today and i was hoping that matt uh that matt judon that he would go off today because I, I really wanted to see him go Whew! and he did he did now what's crazy is that on the drive, the drive where uh, Baker Mayfield ended up leaving the game, um, on that drive, uh, it was a Matt Judon hit that took him out. And it's weird because that was actually a clean hit. The Matt Judon hit on Baker Mayfield was clean, um, but that, that could have been close. That was a lot closer to roughing the passer than the previous one was, like two plays before that, that ended up making the third down the first down. Uh, but, you know, NFL this year with those rough and the passer calls, they got those things all kinds of mixed up. And it's just, oh, it's, it's, just, it's just been terrible, man. It's, it's been very frustrating to see as a fan just to watch these garbage rough and the passer calls. And, and again, these refs, they, they have a lot of power in these games. Uh, but anyway, the uh, Patriots, their defense, they've, it was nothing after that for, for the Browns. Nothing. And I actually, uh, I, I turned it off. To be real with y'all, I turned it after Jama uh, after Jacoby Myers got, which I didn't know, because I, like, I feel like Jacoby Myers is one of those. He's he's a, he's a nice underrated receiver. I remember um last season, I didn't know who Jacoby Myers was, but when my Ravens played uh the Patriots, 
I was like, oh, this this guy, Jacoby, because Cam Newton kept throwing him the ball over and 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 over. And he kept catching the ball over and over. And, and I'm like, hold on, who, who is this guy? So I was quickly introduced to who Jacoby Myers is. Um, and after he got his first touchdown, which I didn't realize that that was his first touchdown of his Because if he would ask me, oh, has Jacoby Myers ever scored a touchdown before? Like, yeah, of course. I don't remember when, but yeah, of course. And they said that was his first. I was like, oh, oh okay. That's weird. Um, but I, I turned it off after that. Because with Baker Mayfield, mm, this has been, I think, the second, I want to say the second time that he's gone down in the game due to injury. Um, but the last time I, I forgot what game it was, he came back in. But this game, Brown's very smart of you for not letting him back in the game. Because it was, it was scary. Because Matt Judon hit him, he stayed down, he stayed down. Then he got up and he kind of walked off. And they always say walked off gingerly. So he was limping a little bit and whatnot. Went to the 10 and whatnot. Um, but they were like, Browns were like, they looked at the score. And it was like, uh, no, nah, Baker, you, you, you stay here. You stay here. Uh, we'll just let Case Keenum ride it out. Um, but it's, it's a mess. Uh, and you know what? Since, since we're here right now, let, let me see if they ended up, if the Patriots end up scoring again. Okay, it's still 45-7. All right, cool, cool, cool. And it's, it's less than two minutes left. All right, okay. Because that, boy, this game just ugly, ugly. And then you, you, you almost thought like, all right, going into halftime, I think the score was 24-7, I believe. And you almost think, okay, the, uh, the Patriots, they got the ball. They got the ball coming out of halftime. So it's like, all right, Browns, if you're going to show some signs of life, it has to be now. It has to be right now. Um, but so the Patriots, they went three and out. Went three and out. And Browns, they got the ball back. But nothing. 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 And you, you got to admire the way. Because honestly, I'm going to tell you all. Early on this season, Patriots were like, all right, we're starting Mac Jones. And I was like, oh, okay. Because they got rid of Cam Newton. You know, that whole little thing that happened with them. Um, well, they, I think they said Cam Newton was going to be the starter Then they got rid of him Anyway So they did that It was like we started Mac Jones And the way that they started off this season I was like Oh Patriots they, mm, that, This season is pretty much going to be a wash for them It's going to be a wash I mean yeah okay He ain't got Tom Brady anymore He left You got Mac Jones I mean Tom Brady left two years ago Well a year and a half ago but you're making your transition. This is your transition into your new quarterback, your rookie quarterback. So expect to, even though you did make a lot of moves in free agency and some crazy, like, moves that you're not used to seeing Patriots make at all. You made a lot of those crazy moves in free agency with Jonah Smith, with Hunter Henry. Ooh, who Hunter Henry caught a nasty uh, catch on the sideline. Well, uh, I, I think he had, he, I think he had two defenders on him. But Mac Jones put it in a perfect spot and Hunter Henry, Hunter Henry grabbed it and, and caught it. I was like, ooh, man. But you, you went out and spent some money this offseason. And then, of course, your best free agent, free agent acquisition from former Baltimore Raven, former fifth-round pick, Matt Judon. And he has been, he got, what, nine and a half sacks this year already? And what are we in, week 11, I believe, week 10, week 11? No, week 10. We're in week 10. Oh, we're in week 10. And he got nine and a half sacks already. The most he ever had with the Ravens was nine. That's the most that he ever had in his entirety of his career with the Ravens. He had nine. He got nine and a half already. It's all about the scheme, baby. Anyway, that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. Uh, but Matt Judon is bought. But the, the Patriots, they, they did this, this unreal type of spending this year. And it was like, whoa, the Patriots, okay, they're spending all this money like that. You, you really want to have the strongest team you possibly can. And everybody expected them to draft a quarterback. And they did draft the quarterback and they drafted Mac Jones, but they really put him in a in a position to where it's like, all right, Mac, we're going to really surround you with some weapons. You ain't going to be the best of the best, but we, we're going to have you like taken care of. And I really like how the Patriots, how they use the screen game uh, with Mac Jones. They, they use a screen game to bolden and whatnot, and, and they, they use a short passing. And that's something that they've always done, especially with Tom Brady. You know, the, the dink and dunk, dink and dunk, dink and dunk. And then you, you start looking and checking for that dink and dunk, and then, oh, they hit you up top. 
So this has been their thing for the longest. But Patriots were a team. Now, I don't expect them to make the Super Bowl or anything like that. But they were a team that I had written off. Like, um, uh, yeah. They, Bills got in their division. Dolphins, based off of last year, I'm thinking Dolphins, okay, they may do something. But Dolphins 3-7, and seven, even though that their last win came against my Ravens. Huh, wow. What a, but this, this game made me feel a little better. This game made me feel a little better. Um, and, and then hopefully, hopefully, that game is not over yet, but hopefully the Lions can upset the Steelers. That would make me so happy today. Please, Lions. I, while I'm recording this video, by the time y'all see this video, the game will be over between the Lions and the Steelers. But hopefully Lions end up pulling off the upset. But anyway, congrats to the Patriots fans, Browns fans. Oh, rough day at the office. Oh, I know. But thank you, Patriots, for uh, keeping the Browns down and allowing my Ravens to, even though they suffered defeat, Against another team in the AFC East, the Dolphins, the Patriots, they made that defeat sting a lot less. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And we out.